Moza Racing's new KS wheel is here, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So let's just dive right into this thing. Their new KS steering wheel, a new formula style wheel. We're going to get that open. Of course, we got, looks like we got some tweezers and a bunch of stickers, of course, always. And then we got the wheel itself, which we're going to try and get out of here, which sometimes these boxes are a pain to get out. One thing I noticed, especially with these very tight fitting wheels, they really package their stuff really well. Okay, so we're going to get that ripped out of there. I believe we have it upside down. Can't tell. So their new KS wheel for the first time here. And look at that. Look at these nice, very, very clicky buttons. Of course, we have trash control dial. Doesn't click in though, which is different from all the other wheels. Normally they do click in. Turbo, ABS, do you have our joysticks? We have some controls up top. And we also have, of course, some really nice magnetic paddles, but they're quiet compared to some of the other ones. And then we have our clutches also down here. So this wheel is super sick. And I think we're just gonna go get this thing straight on the rig because the impressions of the wheel visually is just stunning and I love all the feel and everything like that. So I want to get it on the rig because I want to see these buttons about changing the lights and stuff like that. So let's get it over there so we can take a full look at this and actually shake this thing down. It does have a port back here. So you can use this on other wheelbases with the control box. So that's cool. And of course, got to rip that uh, sticker thing off. Got the direct line. So it's going to go great on our R12, so let's get it over to the chassis and go full send. All right, first order of business obviously is going to be that satisfying peel of the cover on the lights. So we're going to get this clicked onto our R12, and we're going to go full send with this thing. And I love the lights. The lights are super bright, super nice, and it's definitely a very comfortable wheel. It's a little wider than when I'm sitting on here than I expected, say, compared to, you know, the other wheels that I use for, like, formula-style driving, like my, you know, FSR wheel. So we're going to go full send, and I thought, what better way to go full send? Why is my camera... Oof, those lights are tripping out that <laughs> tripping out the wheel camera. What better way to send this in one of the most iconic ways in the Huna Pegasus at Pikes Peak and do a hill climb with it with the new KS wheel and go full send. Well, 80% send. I don't want to send this car off the cliff. Don't know Pikes Peak that well. Definitely don't know this car that well. But this Hoonigan Racing Division car deserves to be sent. So let's go full send. All right, we are all set to go. Pike's Peak. And, uh, well. Got our headlights on. Let's do it. So, overall feel of the wheel. Oh, man. This car's crazy. This is a great wheel for, like, say, GT racing and stuff like that. Or Pikes Peak driving. It's a little bit wider than I actually expected it to be, which is I I actually prefer a little bit wider rear wheel. It doesn't make my hands feel as close together. Now when I said full send, like I said, we're doing kind of a 80% send. We don't want to fully uh, send this car off a mountain. But I figured, what is the most iconic way to test out a race wheel? Then in this car, here on Pikes Peak, a little uh, tribute to Ken Block himself. Oh man, yep. I thought we were gonna go off the cliff there. Lower that car a little bit. Pretty loud when you're up in the higher RPMs. I don't know Pikes Peak that well, so I'm kind of babying it through here. But this wheel feels super nice. Oh, 
Oh, I looked away for a second. Oh man, save it, save it, save it, save it. We saved it. I looked away for a second. I looked up at my second monitor. So the lights and everything on this wheel are super bright. We got the stickers to put on the buttons. We wanted to make the button specific. I personally like just the bright light on the buttons. We can't adjust that, obviously. And for racing like this, this feels super good. Definitely uh, want to get this in iRacing in some of the GT cars and stuff like that, or Capetazone. Another race wheel added to my arsenal of wheels. Having a lot of fun with this Pikes Peak run right now. Figured the best way to test this wheel. The grip is actually super nice on the side. The nice rubberized grip. I don't think we need to go in first. On the side of the wheel, feels super nice. All the butt. Oh. Brake bias works. Uh, traction control works too. It's on my diff control though. Probably because I did never actually set my wheel up on this one that should be on the center dial i was still set up on the v2 but those buttons must be bound in the same control configuration as my rsv2 Ooh. but overall super excited to see another race wheel from moza racing big thank you to them for setting it out here for me to get my hands on quite literally uh, I'll leave all the links and everything in the description box below Woo! if you guys want to go check out the chaos wheel yourself as well as reference a link if you would like to purchase any modes of racing gear as always appreciate the support and you guys coming back this car is insane But this wheel is super nice. Yep. Uh, I lost focus. You can't lose focus on Pike's Peak. Or you are just going to go way off the horse. Um, what? <laughs> We're okay-ish. Got a slight vibration in the wheel now. Which is probably makes sense because we just totally smacked that front wheel into one of those hay barrel things. So for initial shakedown of this KS wheel, this thing is super nice and I, I like the little less noise that these paddles are making compared to the other wheels I got. I like the FSR wheels definitely got very loud click. Now it does come with the um, dampers to quiet that down on the other wheels but I should be full throttle here but out of the box this KS wheel super nice feeling super strong and I'm not noticing any flex with it and I'm really ramped up on force feedback well said I didn't want to crash and uh, well I didn't want to send this car off the mountainside, but I think we may have. Try and get back on course. We kind of did send this car off. A bit of a sad thing for the car to be uh, in the dirt because, you know, it was driven up Pikes Peak without a problem. But here I am trying to go full send and I'm sending it off the road. Then again, like I said, I don't know Pikes Peak that often off the top of my head. Now, like if I take this to, say, Norse Lifer, I know that course like the back of my hand. We may have to take this car to Nuremberg or Norse Lifen and see if I can uh, take that on without crashing. This car is definitely a fun car. So if you guys like this, you guys want to keep seeing more here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said, let me know what you guys think of the new KS wheel. 
It's definitely a super fun wheel. Not getting any rubber on my hands, so that's good. Should be wearing my gloves, but once you're so Yep. <laughs> so I think that's gonna do it. Pikes Peak one me uh zero i think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on a set of course with the new moza racing ks wheel once again a big thank you to moza racing for sending that out to me this r12 wheelbase also putting in work right now combined with this ks wheel and this feels so good so as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track